Good morning. Today I'm going to do our final lesson on pictograms. Now yesterday you were looking at how you can group numbers into five in a tally to make it easier to group those amounts and read them. Today we're going to continue with that and the activity is in textbook 2A that you have at home. It's on page 184 and it's lesson five and you can see the chart that we have here. Okay, so all I want you to think about is if there are four boys here, how do we know how many bo books each child has read? I'll give you a moment to think about that. Okay, so the driver pictogram, as you can very easily see in this tally, who has read the most and who has read the least. We're now going to put them into a numerical form. We're going to look at the actual numbers of books that the child, the, the children, sorry, have read. So Sam read 50, Charles read the most, he read 80, Ravi only read 40, and Elliot read 70. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at how we could represent these into an actual pictogram to represent the number of books that each child read. I just want you to think, what picture might you use in your pictogram to represent the number of books that each child has read? And how many of those books would be represented by one picture? A moment to think, you might want to pause. Okay, okay. I thought, and the book agreed, that the best picture that to draw to represent the books read would be a book. Okay, and that a really sensible amount would be 10 books for each picture because each of these was a multiple of 10. So, I can clearly see Ravi's 40 books here, 10, 20, 30, 40. I can clearly see Elliot's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 books. How many books would I have to represent Charles's 80? Think. Well, I know that 8 times 10 is 80, so there are 8 books to represent Charles, what he read. Sam, Sam read 50, and again, 5 times 10 is 50, uh, and I've used 5 books to represent what Sam has read. Now we simply have some questions to read, to answer, sorry. So, how many books did Elliot read? So I'll give you a moment to have a think for yourself. Okay, I look at Elliot and I just count along in multiples of 10. If you know your 10 times tables, we could probably make this quicker still. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Elliot read 70 books. Who read the most books last year? Now this time it's not going to be a number in the box, it's going to be a name because it's asking who. So have a look on your pictogram, we can clearly see that Charles has read the most books. Remember in capital letter for its name. Who read the fewest books? I'll give you a moment to think on that. Hopefully you've all spotted that Ravis has only got four books. He's got the least number of books there. We know it's only 40, but it's actually asking who, not how many. So again, I need a name for the answer. That name is Ravi. How many fewer books did Sam read than Charles? So this time I'm looking at Sam and Charles and I'm making a comparison clearly see that Charles did read more, so Sam has read fewer, but it's asking you how many, okay? Now if I were to look at this, there are several ways of working this out, you might say, well Charles did, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, he read 80 books, so I could do eight subtract one, two, three, four, five, eight subtract five is three, 80 subtract 50 is 30, Okay, so I could say that he read 30 fewer books. A really easy way of doing this is to look at this more as a bar model. 
Okay, I can see this amount here, here, which means that this amount is the amount extra that Charles read. So this is how many fewer Sam read. Okay, so I can see very clearly 10, 20, 30 books. So Sam read 30 fewer books than Charles. So there are various methods, find the one that suits you. How many more books did Charles, so this time I like to highlight the language that is asking so I know what I'm answering. How many more books did Charles read than Ravi? Okay, so if I remove this from last time, here's Charles again and Ravi and this time he wants to know how many more. So you've got the same options as last time. Charles, we know, has read 80 books, so you could do the sentence 80, subtract, well, what has read, Ravi read? He'd read 40. This way we're working out the difference. You could also use, which is easy to answer, well, there are eight books, and Ravi read four. So if eight take away four is four, 80 subtract 40 is 40, running out of space to write, okay? I think, again, though, the simplest way of looking at this is simply to compare Charles and Ravi's bars. Here you can see the same in Charles as you can see in Ravi's bar, and this is the extra amount again, okay? So how many more books did Charles read? Well, we know each one of these is worth 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, okay, so Charles read 40 more books than Ravi. Final question, how many books did Sam and Ravi read all together? Have a think about what all together means. So if we're putting things all together, we are combining those amounts. So this time I need to look at what Sam has. Okay, which I know he has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I like to make little notes and doodles as I work. And how many did Ravi read? Oh, well, Ravi only read 40. So if I want the combined amount, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, I could do it that way, or I could simply add 50, add 40, which also should give you the total of 90. Okay, now this is over to you at home. Grab yourselves a piece of paper or just something to record on because all you're going to do is you are going to come up with some questions that can be answered using the information in this pictogram. Okay, so this is a pictogram of pupils who wear glasses and in every year group, there are six year groups, and some children wear glasses. Now each cube stands for 10 pupils. Now I'm not going to give you too much more information on that because now is the time for you to do the thinking. What questions could you ask? You could, if you wanted, look back at the types of questions that were asked on the page before and see if you can ask similar different types of questions about this, okay? Once you have completed that, you turn into your workbook and it is page it out of the way, 245 to 247, okay, and you're basically doing very similar activities, just be careful to really read what the question is asking you to do, is it going to be a number, is it going to be a name, where am I getting that information from, and of course remembering what each of the pictogram symbols stands for, okay. And there are two pages to complete of those, and I will post the answers later. Have fun.